We are the United States Navy, our nation's sea power, ready guardians of peace, victorious in war. So when I say that, a lot of folks go, hey, fleet, what's that? And I say, oh, that's the first line of our Navy ethos. And then we get into a good conversation about the Navy ethos and the history of the Navy ethos and why we have the Navy ethos. So why do we have a sailor's creed and a Navy ethos. What is an ethos versus our sailor's creed? Um, an ethos is to complement uh, a creed. In the 2009 CNO's guidance with Admiral Ruffhead, um, he talked about you know the way ahead of the Navy, and he talked about the Navy ethos and how it is incorporated now into our Navy lifestyle and where it came from. Well. There were town hall meetings, there were surveys, there was uh, Mick Pond at the time had sent out some requests across the fleet and I vividly remember receiving, you know, a survey of questions of, you know, what should be in the Navy ethos as we develop it that incorporates not just our sailors but our civilians as well as a whole department of the Navy and, you know, in one sentence, you know, what would you say describes or captures, you know, what we do as a naval force to include our military and our civilians. And so all of that was compiled and, you know, smart people way smarter than me were in, you know, in a room somewhere and took all of this information and uh, developed the Navy ethos out of words from the fleet because the Navy ethos is for the fleet of our civilian and our sailors. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.